What's going on guys? In today's video, I want to run through just basic all of Google's automated smart bidding options that are available to you. So this is not going to be a long video. I'm just going to briefly touch on each topic. If you really need to dig down and get to the more in-depth stuff, go to our Clicks Geek YouTube channel. And I have like 15 videos on each of these different smart bidding options and how they work and stuff. So I just want to make this video just kind of the touch over the, the basic the basics of each one and how it works and my experience with each one so if we go into our Google Ads campaign we're in a demo campaign here we'll go over to settings and in settings where you'll find your bidding options you can see on this one we have manual CPC setup so if we go to change bid strategy we can uh, have some selections here of all the different things we got going on so all the way up here on top automated bid strategies these are the the core this is this is all the options you have for smart bidding and I'm just gonna kind of just run you through what it is and my experience with it so target CPA you can see right here sets bids to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal what does that mean it basically means you choose target CPA and you tell Google, all right, uh, we're in a plumbing campaign. So I want you to do all the automated bidding and I want you to get me leads for $50 a piece. So what you're going to do then is hit save. And you're telling Google, you can do all the bidding. You can do all the adjustments. You can do whatever that needs to be done. I don't care what you do, but here's my budget and I want my leads at $50 a lead. Obviously a small budget like this and your target CPA is $50 is not going to work. <laughs> so you're gonna to need to have a healthy budget of at least 100 bucks in my opinion. That's just my experience. We've seen great success with target CPA for bigger budget clients. If you're spending 150, 200 a day and you're in a niche where you can get leads for 50, you know, 30 to 50 bucks, it works really well. All right, moving on, we'll change the strategy up. And we'll go down to the next one. And this is target return on ad spend. So it, it sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your target return on ad spend. So you have to, calc when you set up your conversions in your uh, in the conversion section, you have to calculate a value and Google's gonna use the value to determine your target return on ad spend if you wanna do that. So you set a percentage here. So if you hover over this, your target return on ad spend is the average conversion value you'd like to get for each dollar you spend on ads. And it gives you an example here, it's just pretty good. If your goal is to get an average of $5 in sales for each dollar you spend on ads, your target return on ad spend would be 500%. So that's kind of how you're gonna set that up here. I don't have any experience using this. I don't, I don't really, um, mess around with it too much for the clients the type of clients that we have it's just not a, nece a necessary thing to even test but I mean if it's something that you guys are interested in definitely dig into it because there's a uh, I, I know I have friends who use this and they do really well with it next up is maximize clicks this is something we use all the time pretty much on every new campaign that we start out however something I must warn you is if you use this strategy please make sure you are setting a maximum cost per click bid limit Okay, this is really important. So you want to set it depending on what your industry is, how I would do this is the keyword tool and I would look at the top position cost per clicks for your keywords and I would just kind of blend an average together and start with that as the bid limit. So if we're in the plumbing niche, we know I can get clicks here. The average click cost could be in the 30s. So I would set a maximum cost per click, let's say of $45. So that's just telling Google, hey, you can do all the auto bidding you want to get me the best, most amount of clicks within my budget, but I do not want you to bid higher than $45, okay? So if you don't set a max CPC bid limit, what's gonna happen is Google could potentially bid, you know, $100 plus for a keyword. And I know that's that might sound great if you're in the personal injury space, but in the plumber niche, that is way out there. And you don't want to be spending that kind of money. So it's important to rein them in. And if you see that performance is lacking, you're not getting any clicks or anything like that, um, a diagnostic thing you should look at is if your bid limit is too low. All right, so that's important. If it's too low, you're not getting enough clicks, you should come in here and raise this up. But you'll know after seven days. So this is a great strategy. You're essentially letting Google's algorithm do all the bidding for you. And they and they change the they change the bids hundreds of times 
during the week and with, with different times and ad schedule stuff and they, they want you to enter each auction with the with the with the goal to get you that to get you that click right because what, what's basically what the core of this is is they're trying to get you the most amount of clicks within your budget and they're going to do everything they can to get those clicks for you and it's really hard to compete with something like this if you're doing manual bidding obviously for obvious reasons next up maximize conversions it's another great one we use so usually how this works is Google uses your account conversion history and the algorithm bids for you based on your your history of what's converted and what's not converted in the past. And this is a great thing to run after you have a solid 90 days of conversion data and then you can turn this on and let Google do its thing, but something I should I should warn you guys about is that this this algorithm, this this strategy, this bidding option needs time to to adjust, okay? So it could it every time we've used it, it starts out worse, I should say that. I it sh I should. So the, like the first week it usually does worse than when we're doing it. But that's the algorithm learning. And then by week four, if you let this run for four weeks, it, you'll definitely start seeing the turnaround of increased conversions and stuff like that. So it's important just to not turn it on in three days, be like, what the hell, and then blame Google and turn it off. Next up, maximize conversion value. I don't really use this. I don't, I don't think I've ever used it. But sets bids to help you get the most conversion value possible within your budget. So that's this goes back again to when you set up your conversion actions. When you list the value of your conversion, Google is going to use its algorithm, I guess, to optimize to get you the most conversions for that value. That's what if I had to take a guess at it. Like I said, I've never used it. I'm just total transparency here. I don't mess around with this one. Target impression share is something I've also... Well, actually, I have used this. I do use it for a few campaigns, but it's more for smaller locations, I should say. And the places I'm, I'm only using it in two campaigns right now, and they're both very tiny, like counties. I think one's a county in Pennsylvania, and another one's in Florida. And um, we just want to have our ads at the top, pretty much, so you can set your impression share. Now, what does that mean? So, impression share is if you know what search impression share is this is what you're targeting all right so search impression share is something that each keyword in your account gets a percentage wise is a search impression share so that's from zero to 100 obviously if you 100 percent search impression share that means that your ads are triggered every hundred every hundred times your keywords are searched your ads are showing a hundred times so if you're if you're a if your impression share is 50 percent out of every 100 searches, only 50, your ads are only going to show 50 times those 100 searches. So that's why it's really important to get as close to 100% impression share as possible. And that's exactly what this bid strategy does. You can see here, you have a few options. So where do you want your ads to appear? You can say anywhere in the search results page. Do not choose this option because Google could place your ads at the bottom of the first page and you might as well be in Siberia at that point because you'll never get clicks, but you'll get a lot of impressions and that will just be no, no bueno for your campaign. Top of results of the page is usually where I use this for. It's just anywhere in the top above the organic results in Google, or you can do absolute top of results page, and that's like the top like one or two positions. Um, I usually just do top of results page, honestly, and I always set my impression share for 90% to start and just see what it does. Again, this might be an option where you want to set a maximum CPC bid limit so Google's not going crazy and bidding $100 for a click because obviously you guys know that could become a problem if with your budget if they get out of control with bidding so this might be something you want to start like kind of put a leash on Google from the start and be like hey listen I don't want you guys bidding more than 50 bucks and that's where you would put that right here so you set your max CPC bid limit and the last one oh that is the last one and then we have manual CPC which you guys all know and if you're going to use manual, I highly recommend you at least do enhanced CPC. And if you don't know what that is, it's just you're letting, it's kind of like a hybrid smart bid strategy. Google's algorithm is going to help you. It's going to auto adjust your bids based on your conversion history too. Like if, if, if Google sees you're bidding on a keyword that usually drags in a lot of conversions for you and you're bidding way too low, they're going to step in and be like, hey, I'm going to increase this bid for you because we want you to get this click because we know it's going to lead to a conversion. And they're kind of just going to do it that way. So if you're running manual CPC, you definitely should be doing this. All right, guys, that's just kind of the brief overview of all the smart bidding options. Um, there is no right or wrong answer. Everything I say in every video is always just test, test, test. Like I said, we start every campaign with um, maximize clicks. Just make sure you use a bid limit for that. And um, if you have any questions, drop them. 
below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop how-to content almost daily. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.